Hi, this is Katie. Yes, I'm wearing an extra large t-shirt right now. That's why it kind of looks like I have shoulder pads in. This is my Tim Storm shirt. He's one of my favorite people I've ever known in my entire life. But anyway, I wanted to do a little morning routine video today because I've done a couple nighttime routines and I've done a couple like just daytime vlogs where I have shown you what I do in the morning but I don't know if I've ever made a dedicated morning routine video. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Katie. I live out of my car and travel around the country. And so I just woke up, that's such a lie. I woke up like an hour and a half ago, but I have just been like on my phone, just like resting kind of, but I'm in the back seat of my car and I just wanted to show you guys what I do in the morning to get ready for my day. So first of all, the most difficult thing is sitting up. Ugh, cause it's like, oh wait, I don't wanna do that. Okay, so sitting up, I'm gonna try to balance you right here. Let's see if that works. Perfect, I'm a professional. Okay, so I, wait, no, I need you out here for, oh, this hair is glorious. Okay, I actually need to hold you for another second to actually show you like, what's going on if you haven't seen like my nighttime routines so i put a pillow over here and i have all these t-shirts and blankets and visory things you can see my hand through the mirror i have all these things hanging up with these pins and i have one in the back as well and i have this pillow and then i just had blankets on me obviously and then so i was like lying like this and then i pushed that seat forward and put a pillow here so that I can stretch out my legs. A lot of people are like, oh, it's so uncomfortable. How do you fit? Why do you sleep in the back seat of your car? I'm real short. So like, I don't know if you can see. Here, we'll move this. Like I can stretch out fine. Well, actually, if I'm gonna be like really stretched out, okay, there, that's exactly how I would be sleeping and I can stretch out fine. My legs are completely straight. And so I'm wearing shorts, <laughs> but if I push that forward, I'm five, two and a half. So I fit perfectly. If you were five, three, you might not fit, but I fit literally perfectly. So anyway, when I'm getting ready in the morning to just kind of, you know, get my day going, my pillow's there, put my other pillow there. And then now I can, now I can put you here and talk to you guys. Okay, so then I think it's really important, kind of like when like you live in a house or you live in an apartment or whatever and you make your bed, kind of just like to get you like started for the day. I think that's kind of important. So I will just fold my blankets. Okay, fold my blankets, put those in that pile. I don't know if you guys can really see me. I know it's kind of dark. And then, so during the day, a bunch of my stuff hangs out in the back seat. So then at night, I just put it in the front seat. And so now what I'm gonna do is just take a few of those things and put them back in the back seat. So I have like a pair of shoes I need to decide if I'm gonna keep. And my laundry bag goes right here. And my day bag. Oh, nope, that's actually gonna stay up there until I sit in the front seat because that is like piled in. Okay. So just like the few things that I have up here that need to go back in the back, I will do that. And I will also take down all of these t-shirts and towels and everything. So these are just like slidey pins and I just literally like, you just slide them through the t-shirt and then into the ceiling cause it's fabric. So to take them out, just slide them out. And then I fold these as well. Again, it's just kind of like, getting ready for the day, having as much stuff organized as possible because I'm sure if you live in your car, it might not be that organized all the time. So whatever effort you can put into organizing, I think is worth it. So I'm gonna take all these down and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so now everything in the back is down, I'm going to get into the front seat, which means that I am just going to move the seat back to its regular position. And then I grab my phone and my keys that I just keep back here while I'm sleeping. And then again, this is a mess because, well, A, because it's a mess, but also because some of that stuff lives in the back seat. So then I just climb up here. Yeah. Oh goodness, oh goodness, okay. And then sometimes my hair gets stuck to the pins, especially if I have it up. Sometimes the pins get stuck in my hair. But then, 
I'm just up here. And then I, uh, there's no good angle for you right now. So you're gonna sit there. It's actually not too bad. Okay, so then I just take down these front shades. These are difficult because they're so big. You just do this outside, it might be easier. <laughs> Those are done. And then I keep these. I have this thing back here, this little organizer thing. So I keep these in this top part. So now my back seat, there's the pillows and the blankets and towels and stuff and the t-shirts. And then it, honestly looks a little bit messier than it is because it's a lot of just like bags so that stuff lives in the back seat but i'm going to move that a little bit later because now it's kind of late it's like about nine o'clock and i do not like to stay where i sleep this late and so i'm actually just going to go drive to another big parking lot like a target or something and then i'm going to do the rest of my morning routine so i'll see you guys in a minute okay so i just parked i'm in bozeman montana right now and there's this big like target pet smart staples uh shopping center parking lot and so i'm parked there just brushed my teeth which i have done on camera 400 times so i spared that for you for today but then so the rest of my like morning routine so sometimes i'll wear clothes during the day and then if i'm wearing like a t-shirt i'll just wear that t-shirt to bed but then in the morning i'll change and then honestly sometimes i'll wear the same clothes a couple days in a row it totally depends but for right now i'm not going to wear this today even though this is my favorite shirt of all time because tim storm is my favorite person but uh, i'm i'm just not going to wear this t-shirt today so i am going to here's the thing I maybe wish that I changed when I still had all my little shades up, but I didn't, which is totally fine. We've talked about changing in videos before. It's almost kind of like how you would change in gym class. Depending on what you're wearing, you can almost like, with this is going to be a little bit more difficult because sometimes you can just put a shirt on over your shirt and then take your shirt off, or you can just kind of change really quickly. Obviously, if you have a bra on, it's not like the biggest deal because you won't be naked, but also you don't really want people to see you like that. So maybe like position yourself in a way that people from outside won't see you or just go somewhere where there's no people. Just like drive and park somewhere there's no people, or you can go into a bathroom bathroom and change however you're comfortable and so I'm going to change and then I am going to uh, change my battery on my camera because it's dying so I'm gonna go pick up my clothes and I'll be back in a second okay so I am going to where it feels like it's gonna be really warm out today yeah it's only 56 right now which is like perfect but it's gonna be high of 82 ish and so i'm going to wear some levi's shorts i think these are wedgie shorts and then i just got this cute tie-dye shirt from madewell a couple weeks ago and so i'm going to change into this and i'm not going to show you that so i'll be right back Okay, so now I'm changed. And then the rest of my routine, you've seen quite a few times in other vlogs and stuff, but I'm still gonna go through it pretty quickly just in case you haven't seen those other videos or if you're new or anything like that. And so I always have a thing of baby wipes right here that like on a day like today where I'm not showering this morning, I will just take a baby wipe and you know, wipe the places of my body that feel a little sticky or feel a little gross or feel like I might not smell very good, especially because it's summer. And I just use any all natural baby wipes, but I really like this Huggies thing. It was like $3 or whatever from like a Target. That's a reusable thing that you can connect anywhere. And so I just refill this with just any like natural wipes. So I do that. And then of course I put my deodorant on, which I keep right here, but who knows where it actually is right now. Oh, right here. Okay. This is my favorite deodorant. It's the Love Beauty and Planet deodorant. Um, it's like, it actually smells really, really good. It's a refreshing scent. This is the only like all natural deodorant that I feel like actually works for me. The other one that I have is the Arm & Hammer one, which is okay. And I used it for a while, but once I found this one, this is like my favorite, favorite deodorant. I think this is at Target as well. And then I'm going to use a simple face wipe to wash my face for now again because i'm not showering this morning so if i was showering i would wash my face in the shower but i'm not so i'm just gonna do this oh another thing about changing really quickly also like 
obviously if you do it when you still have all your curtains and stuff up in your t-shirts like that would be the easiest way to be like hidden when you do it but if you forget like me or you want to change in the middle of the day and you don't feel like changing in a bathroom or something like that you can even just take like a towel and just kind of like cover yourself a little bit while you change like that's kind of what I do especially if I'm changing like my pants I'll just put a towel over my lap and then you nobody can see anything so okay so do that then I'm gonna take some face cream this is the Ren glow daily vitamin C gel cream gel cream I don't think I knew it was called gel cream because it does not feel like gel it's like feels like a cream but my hands like I washed them like an hour ago when I used the restroom like where I was sleeping before but then I've been like moving stuff around so I'm actually going to take a tissue and put the cream on a tissue and put it on my face because I don't want to use like my hands are probably clean especially since I just use like the wipes and stuff on my body that obviously also got on my hands I still don't want to chance it and put extra bacteria or garbage or dirt or grossness on my face when I don't need to. So yeah, I really like Ren products a lot. And uh, chapstick, this I think I've talked about, I do not like, but it was very expensive so I'm gonna use it up. This is the Agave uh, Nighttime Therapy or something. Yeah, Nighttime Lip Therapy by Bite Beauty. I do not recommend this, but it was very expensive and so I'm gonna use it up because it's okay it just doesn't last very long and it's not like super moisturizing and I have really dry lips so I do that put the rest of that on my hands and then I tackle my hair so obviously I wore it up last night because it just was not looking good down I feel like my last few videos that I've recorded have been very like my hair is a mess and it's like dang it Katie why can't you record like when your hair is nice and clean and whatever but I am I mean I just washed it but Still, it just does not look very nice. So where is my brush? I moved my, my day bag to the back, by the way. And also, I don't know if you can see, but my pants are not buttoned yet. So I just have this little like tangle teaser -y brush. My hair is really, 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 really dry. And especially since I have been uh, getting it like bleached recently, it's just very dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna dry shampoo the top to get a little bit of volume up there, but it's not its not oily or anything. I'm gonna use the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy dry shampoo. I'm gonna open the windows for ventilation and just do a little bit up here. Okay, and then probably what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna curl my hair. So I've actually never done this in a video. I did it on a live stream recently, but I've never done it in a video. So. A lot of people ask me like where I get ready and where I do my hair and whatever. So if I'm washing my hair, I'm usually at a friend's house or at the gym or at a campground or something like that. I want you to put the dry shampoo and you just gotta like zhuzh it in. But I usually like take a shower at the gym or something and then I do my hair right then and there. But say, you know, you haven't washed your hair in a few days or you haven't showered or it's just the next day and you aren't gonna be near an outlet, you can get a power inverter. This one's from Duracell. It has one little outlet -y thing and then a USB as well. And this plugs into your cigarette lighter. And so my car is on and I just plug that into my cigarette lighter and then I'm just taking my curling iron that is the same watts or volts or whatever it needs to be like i checked it or this is actually a little bit less and then you just can plug it in here again usually when i'm doing my hair i'm in a, a bathroom of sorts but this totally works too and so i'm gonna wait for this to heat up and then i'm going to i'm not going to give you like a tutorial or anything on how i curl my hair i essentially just take sections and I take like this side of my hair and I do everything back and then I take this side of my hair and I do everything back like I curl everything back I don't alternate and so I'll show you a little bit of it but it's not gonna be a tutorial necessarily okay so I'm gonna wait for this to heat up and then we're gonna do my hair while I'm waiting for that I'm gonna put on a little bit of like body spray which I feel like I never do but I'm in the mood to because I saw this and I was like oh I, I want to smell like that this is the Sol de, Sol de Janeiro Sol de Brazilian crush they just have stuff that like all smells like summer So we're just gonna do that. And then I'm also going to look while I'm waiting for that to heat up for, uh, oh, I got my mouth. Why did I spray that with the windows closed? Uh, I'm gonna look for some kind of hair oil because the bottom of my hair is just so dry. I'm working on repairing it. Like I have like a new repairing conditioner and stuff. I'm gonna see if I have any dry oil in the trunk, which is where I keep all my like 
extra hair stuff. Like I have some stuff in my day bag, but I keep the rest of it in the trunk. I'm buttoning my pants because now we're going outside. So now I got to button my pants. Okay. Okay, I forgot that I have this. I have this Amika Phantom Hydrating Dry Shampoo Foam. So what I'm gonna do, which might mess up my hair completely, but I'm gonna put this at the ends of my hair. Excuse me. Okay. Um, I'm glad my windows are still open. I don't know if this is what this is supposed to be like. Cause this was like four different textures. So let's not use that part. It smells like a salon mixed with Chinese food. Huh. It's a pretty, pretty good mix, I'll say. All right, let's try that again. There we go, that's foam. That also looks like way too much. Yeah, we're not gonna use that much because I'm just gonna put some on a towel because I don't know how much I need because I don't wanna make my hair like greasy. I feel like this is a mistake, but Yep, nope, now my hair's just wet. My hair's just wet now. Cool, great, cool. Huh? Okay, so now I'm sure this is heated up, so now I'm just going to fast forward this part, but I'm gonna curl my hair real quick. Oh, and P.S., most of the time, I just dry shampoo my hair and then that's it, like, but I just felt like actually doing my hair today, so. Oh, and I'm sure there's gonna be some of you guys who are like, you live in a car, but you're curling your hair, like, blah, 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 like, how does that make sense? So just in case, again, you haven't seen a lot of my videos or anything, I live in my car uh, by choice so I can travel around the country. But I also think that it's important, no matter what lifestyle you have, if you're forced into something you don't wanna be in, if you have exactly the life you've always wanted, I still think it's important to do things for yourself in whatever capacity possible to make yourself feel okay, you know? And so if you live in a car, even if you don't really want to, but you kind of have to, and if you can save up money for one of those power inverters, like 20 bucks, and if you already had a curling iron, then why not curl your hair, you know? It doesn't need to be seen as a luxury. It doesn't need to be seen as, well, you're down on your luck, so you shouldn't take care of yourself. I'm not saying go get eyelash extensions and pedicures every week when you only make 20 bucks a week, but I'm saying if you can afford it and it's something small that makes you feel okay about yourself, especially if you're in a position that you don't really wanna be in, but even if you're not, like, I think it's okay to do some things that just make you feel good about yourself. So I know that I've had quite a few people be like, well, you live in a car and you buy expensive uh, skincare products. So you live in your car and you do this. It's like, well, yeah, again, I, I live in my car by choice so I can travel because I love being on the road. I've been on the road for a few years, but also there are even ways, even if you are quote unquote down on your luck or you're in a situation you don't really wanna be in, there are still ways to realize that you're still loved by God, that you're still a worthwhile and important person. And so, it's okay to treat ourselves like that, you know? So again, I'm not saying to treat yourself all the time when you can't afford it and do wild extravagant things, but if curling your hair makes you feel good and you have a curling iron, then curl your hair, you know? You don't need to suffer more than what is put on you and you do not need to punish yourself for being in a situation that maybe you don't really wanna be in or maybe other people look down on even if you like it. I like being in the car, but uh, you know, some people look down on it and that doesn't mean that I, need to give into that because I know what I'm doing and I know myself. And so I honestly used to kind of not really do my hair very often, but then I realized that whenever my hair is done, I just kind of feel a little bit better. So I want, and I have all the things to do my hair. So now I'm just gonna start doing my hair a little bit more. I'm going to let this uh, cool down for a second. It's almost cooled, but, and then I'm gonna kind of zhuzh it but of course i'm going to unplug this now and let this cool down and i'm just going to let this cool down on my dashboard there are the plasticky parts that don't heat up and so that's how i'm going to balance it and you know within 10 minutes that'll be totally good to go back to storing it what i'm going to do now with this really quickly is just kind of brush it out the teeniest bit and then i'm going to put some salt spray in it this is by verb that i got at sephora so that's gonna be my hair for the day. And then 
again, kind of sticking on the whole theme of like, what makes you feel okay about yourself? Even if you're down on your luck or if you're in a situation that you were forced to be in, what can you do for yourself that makes you feel a little bit better? So even if it's going outside and go for a walk, even if it's like literally staring at flowers or going for a hike and looking at puppies, you know, like whatever it is. But if it's something like doing your hair, great. If something like putting makeup on, great. And so for today, I'm in the mood to put makeup on. So I'm gonna do that. I will tell you what I'm gonna use and then maybe I'll fast forward through it because I don't wear like a ton of makeup and so it'll be pretty quick. Okay, so this is my makeup bag. I got it from Ulta. It's the brand Tartan and Twine. What an interesting brand name. I have not been wearing foundation recently at all. I've just been wearing concealer as foundation kind of, and so I'm gonna use the Josie Marin Vibrancy Concealer, and then I'm going to put that over like my blemishes and my under eyes, and then I'm going to use, oh, I'm gonna use the Mineral Fusion Hydrating Primer first, and then that, and then I'm gonna use the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder in Fair to set that. I'm going to be using the Nude Sticks eyebrow stylus pencil and gel in the color ash brown and then I'm going to be using this Becca afterglow sunset palette that I got from TJ Maxx the other day this is bronzer blush and highlight so I'm going to be using that for all three of those and then I'm going to use my tweezer man round eye eyelash curler and I'm going to use probably this. I actually really like this. This is Snap Scara by Maybelline. I got this in brown because I wanted a brown mascara. It looks really, really nice. I like this a lot. You have to build it up, but it's really nice. And then we'll pick out a lipstick together because I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for. So I'm going to put these on real quick. Fast forward all this. And uh, yeah. Cool. I'll zoom you in. Oh, God. My brush almost fell, and I don't know why I thought that that was going to be the biggest disaster of my life. Okay. How's that zoom good great terrifying okay cool oh and i have this in fair by the way the vibrancy concealer i love that concealer i do not like the foundation but i love the concealer Okay, so that is my makeup for the day. Uh, this mascara I know is all of my eyelids, but I'm gonna wait till it dries to fix it. Oh, wow. Wow, these are the dirtiest, dirtiest glasses that have ever existed. I have a terry cloth towel here. No, we can, we can, nope, that's the wrong way. We can zoom back now. So that is my makeup for the day. And then for lipstick, my new favorite combo Dose of Colors Lip Liner in Casual and Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in Whisper. For me, for like fair skinned but olive toned girl, like warm toned girl, I like to wear, first of all, I have a gluten allergy. So I, face products are different, but lip products, I will not use anything with gluten. First of all, it's just kind of hard to find that anyway. There are quite a few brands, so it's not hard to find gluten-free lip products. It's hard to find gluten-free lip products in a color that I like, because I like these cool toned nudes, and I just feel like for some reason it's hard to find those. And casual, those colors, cool toned nude. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, lined my lips, filled in the bottom one the teeniest bit, and then Whisper is another cool toned nude, and I love it. I love this lip combo. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna look like today. Honestly, after that, the day totally depends on the day. Uh, some days I am starving and I go eat something. Uh, some days I go straight to a library or a coffee shop to do some work. Some days I sit around and watch YouTube on my phone for a little bit. And some days I, you know, will talk to my mom. Some days I'll go, like it, it's just different every single day. But that is kind of how I get ready for my day. Again, there are some days where I don't do my hair or my makeup whatsoever. But then there's some days like today where 
I just kind of felt like doing that. It is Sunday right now, it's about 10 o'clock. And so I am going to work because I have to edit and post my video for today. And then this video will go up in, I don't know, a couple days or a week or whatever. And then what I'm going to do after work, work will take me about two or three hours or so. And then I am going to eat. And then I have plans a little bit later. But yeah, this is just kind of like my quick morning routine. This was not quick. I, I don't know why I ever say quick when it's really, really not. But again, I don't always do my hair and makeup. And so if it's just taking down all the t-shirts and blankets, putting some of the stuff from the front back into the back, getting into my front seat, doing a little quick shower, brushing my teeth, and then doing something like getting dressed and you know putting some dry shampoo in my hair, at least putting my hair up, doing something like that. That's kind of just my morning routine. And so yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this morning routine, waking up in my car with me. And I hope that you stick around for other videos. Make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already and follow me on Instagram for more daily updates. And that's gonna be it. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.